Uh, Italy, birthplace of the Renaissance, home of fine dining, and of course, the Piaggio Ape. But is it also not the spiritual home of enduro racing? Yes, yes it is, and it's because of this I find myself here, the rolling hills of Tuscany, ready to explore some of the country's finest riding. And to do this, I will be using the brand new Garmin Edge 840 to help navigate my way around some of this place's most iconic trails. We're nearly at the top, people. Our location in the Tuscan Hills wasn't just plucked out of thin air, oh no. Day one will see us take on some of Massa Maritima's most infamous trails. And day two is the reason we're really here, to try to hunt for the first ever EWS stage of the very first EWS here in Punta Ala. The Massa Maritima bike park then, well it consists of 12 fully marked trails going both up and down, but the wider area, I had a little look, over 100 kilometers of track. We got everything from gnarly blacks to real mellow greens. Ciao. 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 And uh, we're going to kick it off with Crank It, a nice long blue run, about two and a half K, because I think that's the perfect warm up for the day. Off we go then, people. I've parked a little bit outside of the bike park, a few K if you like. So I've got a nice warm up to get to the top, a little bit of a climb, and then yeah, we'll spin on up and uh, drop on in. Crikey, bit of a punchy old climb there. Got the heart rate up a bit. We're nearly at the top, people. Okie dokie, I have been out in the sun for about 47 minutes, look. And we've already gained a good couple of minutes. 31 average intensity, that is because it's pretty dappled light. So I'm not really in the sun all the time, but soon we will be. Oh yeah. All <laughs> right, here we are. I've made it to the top and I'm hyped, people. Crank line, PS1 start, not sure what that for. Maybe there's been a race. Hopefully I'm not joining that by accident. So, um, well, there's only one thing to do, really, and uh, let's get riding. I'll see you down there. Oh, this is a mellow start. High line. All right, crank it, crank it, crank it. I am cranking it right now, over the rocks. Nice. Oh, she's pretty slick from the rain. Nice. That was pretty cool. So that is the top part of crank line done and it was pretty flipping greasy some wild slippery moments but fear not lower line and we're going to do stamp ramp i reckon it's going to be a bit drier because the side of the hill here has got a bit more sun to it oh hell oh big roller Let's jump. the mallet step down Nothing on the inside there, so that's a first little feature to clear. Right, if you can hear Garmin beeping at me, it's because, oh, inside. When I do a jump and stuff like that, right, listen, it's actually recording the jumps I do. Right? So like distance, height, stuff like that. And that's all contributing to my flow Ugh. and grip score. Ooh. Ah, that was sick. Crank line completed it. That was well fun. Good little warm up run. Yeah, pretty, pretty wet, wet and muddy up there, but I really enjoyed it. It's a good solid blue to start the day. But I think now we've got a big climb back up. So Climb Pro is telling me that we've got a roughly 185 meter climb to get back to the top where we will be dropping into something a little spicier, shall we say. But first, climb, then lunch, I think. Aye, aye. I've heard they like their, uh, their hunting here around these woods. And uh, this goes to show, look at this. 
I mean, be it a live cow or a metal one, they don't stand a chance under there. Look at the size of that. That's shotgun, all those little dimples. That's rifle down here. That, flipping blunderbuss or something. God knows what's making that hole. No, but safe. And in fact, they don't even like speed limits. This is a hell of a hill. That's a little kick to finish this off, but I reckon then. Oh, okay. Back here again, and I tell you what, this looks like a heck of a lunch spot. Ah, right, it is lunchtime, so I thought, what better place than overlooking the island of Elba in the background there. But I want to talk to you a little bit about stats. So for this uh, little ride that I'm doing the next couple of days, I'm not going to charge the Garmin. So we're going to really see what this new 840 solar can do. It's currently, well, through its solar intensity of 25%, gained an extra 10 minutes of battery life. So check this out, where it's basically solid red now here, this is since we've stopped for lunch and it's just drinking in pure sunshine so the intensity of it is like you can see on the the gauge at the top that's like as much sun as the the device can handle this one's just showing me my elevation so we're currently sat at 554 meters high and we've climbed 347 look and then my grit and flow score so that's things like how rough the trail is how smooth things are going so grit 37.4 flow 6.4 not too bad it's very hard not to get distracted today because that over there is where we shall be tomorrow. That is Punta Ala, home of the first ever EWS. Right, I said we'd chuck a little hot sauce on it. So here we are, rock and roll. I'll see you in a mo. Hey! Mm, roll. So cool, there's some big. Wait! Rock rolls in it, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Which way? Left. Oh, blind. Ah, oh, no. Big rock roll again. Senders. Garmin told me I just did a nice jump. Oh, this trail's bad, ah. This is a big step up in what we did earlier. That top bit was bad ass. I had some real fun sections in it. I was buzzing down there. So that was rock and roll. And then we go into this. Rock and roll queen. Oh, rock and roll. Oh, straight into the savagery. Oh, this is like uber typical Italian ride. Flowy, but like pumpy and tech. Little sprinkler. I like it. Oh, maybe we'll shoot that one. Ah, through that stream. Come on. I have a wet left foot now. How fast is this through the trees? Whoa! Oh my god, I nearly come off then. Kind of bit too much pace. Oh, dreamy. Oh, that's narrow. That was narrow. I actually just crashed my hand through the trooper. Ah, oh, and finito! Man, was that ever good. That is a heck of a track. Big thumbs up. Massa Maritima, you have been an absolute gem. That trail, rock and roll, rock and roll queen, was unbelievable, primo. But look, let me hit you with some stats, Amo. So today, as it stands, we've done 12K. I've still got to ride back to the car a little bit. Sunlight-wise, well, look at this. I've gained 
over 15 minutes of sunlight today, an average intensity around 25%. But actually my battery, what are we saying? Battery is still at 80%. So it's easily gonna crush it through to tomorrow. But you know what? That's enough waffling on for me because I mean, I've even killed it on the old grit and flow score. This thing is insane. Right, time for some dinner and catch up in Punta Rala. Another day, another place to ride, and it's Punta Rala today. But first, let's get some snacks. Okay, so it's a fair old ride today. It's about 8K to get to the top 400 meters of climb, and I got my big old snacky sandwich. Oosh! That's going in the backpack there. Chop Chops chocolate bar, other brands are available. That's in full bladder. So I reckon we're good to go. All right, time to start the Garmin and I'll catch you on the climb. See you in a moment. So there is a bit of a special reason why I've come to Punta Ala, and it's because it is the home of the very first EWS. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride the first stage of the first EWS. I am hyped, it's pretty cool. It's actually technically not the first stage because they held a prologue down in Punta Ala town itself. But as you can't really do that, this is the first off-road stage. Now Climb Pro has just told me to ride from the bottom is just over 7K and about 430 meters of climbing. But luckily, I can kind of track my progress where it gets steeper and where it gets a little bit harder. So that's pretty cool for pacing myself. Right, I can see on the screen that things are starting to kick off a little bit. It's getting a bit steeper now, so uh, yeah, I may have to check back in in a bit. I have to get the old heart rate going. Oh yeah, it is. Oh my God, okay. This is the last bit of the climb and it is hella steep. It's like 22% and it's exactly where your brain starts to go boggly. You start going all cross-eyed. Luckily, this is one of the shorter big rides I'm gonna be doing. Oi, oi, oi. Just keep spinning. Oh my God. We've made it. Oh, the top of our chosen trail, Tradita. on the menu then Jack we have when in Europe ham and cheese slightly gone off in the sun even better oh So Tradita, like I said, the first off-road stage of the very first ever EWS. Now things were pretty gnarly back in the day, so the course was around 60k long and over six hours out on the bike. They were monster races and it really got me sort of reminiscing, if you like, because my first ever EWS was actually also an Italian one at La Twille the year after. So I was kind of like, oh, this is like coming back to the first. But we're here, we're under the trees and things are gonna get pretty dense. Now I wanna smash this track. I wanna have a proper good time. So we're gonna hit it pretty hard. Now the good thing here is that I can still check out my comms without worry of losing any signal because the new Edge 840 Solar has Garmin's improved multiband GNSS GPS, meaning that it actually uses more satellites to pinpoint exactly where you are. So even in dense forest, you ain't gonna get lost. Tradita, 2.4K with over 300 meters of descending. Some EWS goodness, I'll see you at the bottom. First ever off-road EWS stage. And I know it's gonna be a wild one. We're gonna give it a beat because I wanna see just what it was like. So 
So from what I've heard, this track, proper mixture, I would like fast, rough like this, real techno stuff, switchbacks, you name it, it's on here. But I don't want to kill my bike. Oh my God, I need to kill myself. Oh, holy moly, they weren't messing around back in the day. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Oh, golly of doom. This is incredibly washed out. Oh my God. So back in the day, they'd have been racing this on 26s. A 26 inch wheel down here. Lord. I'm gonna say God give me strength just for today. I'm not even a religious man. Oh. Oh, I mean, it's giving me flashbacks though. So when I did my EWSs, this is what they were like. They were long, they were rough, they were blown out, and they were pedally. It's like this point in the races, on a stage like this, the riders would be, you know, a lot of riders, depending on how fit you are, sitting down, still hardcore spinning, that saddle would have gone up. They'd be sitting down, they'd be catching their breath, ready for the next, oh my God, intense bit. Jesus, this climb is horrendous. I was gonna say, imagine doing this at race pace, but sadly I can. It's bringing back some horrible flashbacks. Oh wow, oh my god. How tech is this is up through the gully. Come on, Mitch. Yes. By this point, oh, and by now for me, ride is be absolutely blowing. I can see down, Garmin says heart rate's one, seven, four. That's not bad. I'm still going up. Okay, we're back into the downs. Give the arms and hands a bit of a wiggle. And away we go. Oh wow. Oh, this is relentless. Get on the gas. This is where the big dogs would really be sprinting. All right, we're getting near the end. The fastest times, I think, at the race were around the five, oh my God, five minutes, 40, and about a minute later for the women. Oh, oh, that's it! Oh my god! No way! Holy crap! That was an insane run! Okay, let's take a little breather and chat a bit about the history of this trailing because it does have some history. So the original winners of this trail at Punta Rala 2013 was Fabian Burrell for the men and Tracy Mosey for the women. Now, when you consider that this track is rough as they come, it's mega physical with a really big punchy climb in the middle. That is some feat. Now, obviously the bikes back then as well were, uh, let's just say a little less capable than they are now. So actually what they did makes it an even more incredible display of skill and fitness, making sort of a good argument that enduro riders are some of the best riders in the world. Mm. You have to bear with me. This is a perfect end to a perfect bit of exploration. So, in total, we did about 32K, 1200 meters or so of climbing. Obviously, we started off this whole challenge 
let's not call it a challenge because I think that's a bit serious, but this adventure with 100% of battery, and we finished with 61%, gaining around about an extra 40 or so minutes of charge during the two days, which is pretty incredible considering it's been a little patchy here and there, proving that this thing will go on obviously far longer. And it's been great exploring a couple of new different areas and what better place to finish a ride. So it just goes to show, the Garmin Edge 840 Solar is the perfect little device if you don't want the big all out 1040, should we say, for when you're doing those slightly smaller adventures and epics and using the GPS to find new areas. But look, let me know what you think. Are you a kind of a, a bike computer person? Are you not maybe? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna finish this delightful ice cream and we'll check back in another time. Thank you very much for watching everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you later.